What is a weird trend that existed that everyone forgot about? That period in the late 90s and early 2000s where neon inflatable furniture was popular. Two dudes in my dorm got a bunch of those things, stuck Velcro on the bottom and on the ceiling, and had easy chairs that stashed completely out of the way when they weren't in use. Fucking brilliant. As a Goodwill employee I can assure you that none of these trends are really gone, they're just $2.99 on a back shelf. In the 80s, there was a certain look. Thick socks, scrunched up. Best was to wear two pairs and alternate slash layer them. Then, a too large button-up shirt with some kind of graphic pattern, sleeves rolled up. You had to not tuck that in, yet wear a thin belt over it, tightly at your waist. Finally, the hair. People remember the hair. A fringy bang over the forehead, but then a big, high roll coming up from the top of forehead too. So much hairspray. I was taught by an older girl who really nailed this look that the way to get the highest roll up top involved toothpaste, for the added texture and hold. She also taught me how to put on eyeliner. So much blue eyeliner. People remember the neon and weird patterns of the 80s, but have missed these fine details. May they never return. Edited to add, LA Gear high tops and multiple laces were the right shoe for this look. When I was 10 kids at my school, myself included, wore overalls backwards like crisscross. Edit, adjusted age. When I was a kid, early 90s, the kids around my neighborhood were into marbles. Almost everyone I knew had some, and we'd all play each other for trades. Then Pokemon came along. Remember silly bands, everyone wanted character, animal, object shaped rubber bands on their arm, we all traded them for ones we wanted more, and whoever had the most was the coolest. Some kids went as far as wearing them so tight they left marks. Then after about a year they dropped off the face of the earth, and no one ever discussed them again. In, like, 1999 or 2000, yo-yos got popular in a big way. A bunch of kids did tricks with them, everyone wanted one, and then it just ended. Everyone seems to remember slap bracelets and pogs from around the same time, but no one remembers the yo-yo obsession. Hi, I remember this. My grandma took me to see a professional yo-yo ER at the local mall. I got a high-speed sumbitch with bearings and a belt holster for Christmas. Did not make me as popular as I dreamed it would. Turns out if a weird kid is good at yo-yo tricks, it actually just makes them more weird. Who knew? Cup stacking. We were literally all encouraged to become expert kids who could stack cups quickly and in the correct formation. Gotta love public school. Trying to get famous hurting ourselves, ALA jackass. Even after the disclaimer was added to the show, we were still going down slides on skateboards, stacking skate decks, and going down massive hills, shopping cart jousting, skitching, blanket parties, BB gun tolerance tests, the list goes on. I have the scars and flashback trauma to prove it. Power balance bracelets they were insanely popular, and it was absolutely insane that they were. Anyone remember hit clips? Getting a tiny little player and only a snippet of a song. Whoever had the most keychain songs was the coolest. I had the boombox player. Zip off at the knee khakis. Guilty. They were awesome cause the shorts half had a cargo pocket that you could store the pants half into when it warm. Makes me think of a Steven Universe episode with sour cream wearing these pants. The shirts of a thug version of any character. Like the ones of Bugs Bunny holding a fucking Glock or tatted up Marilyn Monroe. I was not raised in a bad household. Middle class family in a suburb of Toronto. Practically everyone I knew and went to school with would want to wear baggy clothes and act gangster. Buying a six-month supply of toilet paper when you only have a three-day supply of food in the house. It's still going on to some extent, guys wearing their pants hanging below their ass, exposing their underwear. Can't wrap my mind around why anyone would do that. It's awkward, inconvenient, and looks silly. 
I am prime age to have been caught up in that trend, but it seemed bizarre and impractical then, and it still does. Sounds weird, but when I was in high school, 70s, there was a brief trend where students who were chewing gum would take it out of their mouth, twirl it around in the air for a while, and then start chewing it again. I remember a teacher scolding some of them about what a bad idea that was, since any germs in the air would stick to the gum and go right into their mouths. 